and then we could always do with it. So, no lockdowns, mates all round, and the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and London ABA champion of the George Wimpy ABA National Championships at Super Heavyweight by a unanimous decision, Williamson in the blue car. Well, obviously, the public warnings, Weathergate's cabby, and he's not complaining, good sport. So the big fellow now goes on to the All England Championship. The second year of the Super Heavyweights in the ABAs, weight unlimited. The man on the attack with his back to you on the left of your screens now, Guy Williamson, boxes with the Fitzroy Lodge Club in London, famous club, against Alec Campbell from the Clyde Youth Amateur Boxing Club. Good right hand from Williamson. Another one. Some landing some useful punches at the start of this contest. Adrian Elliott, who won this title last year, is now turned professional with the Terry Lawless camp. He spends a lot of his time training with Frank Bruno. is only just 18 years of age looks to have quite a problem here with the big man from London facing you now this will right hand that from Williamson Williamson on the left, quite mature, 25-year-old, been around in amateur boxing for quite some time, never got this far before. He was beaten last year in the London finals by Elliott, who went on to win the ABA title. A minute of the first round remains. Williamson well on top here. Could be going for a stoppage win. Standing eight count, quite right, he took a nasty right-hand head punch there. Health of the box is all important. They don't want to take unnecessary punishment. There might be a first round stoppage here for Williamson. And the towel has come in from the other corner. Not allowed in amateur boxing. Doesn't matter. Let's take another standing eight count. It's up to the referee to make up his mind whether or not the boxer should be stopped. It's all over. Indeed, a first round stoppage. Clearly, Campbell was outgunned and outclassed. And this man, Guy Williamson, age 25, he was the European police champion back in 1981. He's a policeman with the British Transport. And uh, that's a useful win for him. And he goes through to the super heavyweight final. And in that final, Williamson will meet uh, last year's runner up, Keith Ferdinand of the Royal Marines, who tonight in the other semi final beat Chris Jacob. Boxing after being beaten in one round by Frank Bruno in an amateur fight three years ago. At six foot five and sixteen and a half stone, he's no weakling, but the mental scars have only just healed. That's important because on Friday he has the chance to emulate his conqueror by winning the ABA Super Heavyweight title for London, and that would put a lot of things. We took a lot of talking rounds, showing that he had potential as well, that uh, Frank was just that bit more stronger than him, and uh, that if he worked as hard as Frank did, although he didn't have the power, he's got a lot of the boxing ability, guy, and uh, that could compensate for not having the power. He's, he's got uh, very fast reflexes, he's got great ability, and he believes in himself now, which is the most important thing. Let's hope he believes in Friday. Well, these are the top weights, the super heavies. Guy Williamson, a policeman from London, who came close to winning here two years ago, and his opponent from the Royal Marines, Ned Rawlins. Second round. Second round. Well, you're watching the Giants 
of this championship. Guy Williamson in the black and white vest and Ned Rawlins from the Navy. Two very big men indeed. Williamson goes uh, over 17 stone. He's 6 feet 5 inches and at 27 he's the oldest competitor in these finals. That's Williamson in the black and white singlet. The famous colours of Fitzroy Lodge. By those standards, Rawlins of the Navy, the Royal Marines actually, he's an engine room mechanic. He's a comparative midget, I suppose. He's only six feet four and 15 and a half stone. He's 24. Pretty even first round. Williamson started a firm favourite. He's got quite a bit of experience, including experience in America, Williamson. He went over last summer to Phoenix, Arizona with a, a British police squad of boxers to take part in a sort of uh, Cops Olympics. And he won his final against uh, a cop from New Orleans. And Rawlins is threatening to spring a bit of a surprise here against this huge man from the transport police, Guy Williamson. Rawlins is standing back, measuring his man. And they're both beginning to blow very hard in this second round. They've taken a bit out of each other. Rawlins is bleeding from the nose. He's giving something like two stone away here to Williamson. But Williamson is blowing hard and Rawlins is picking him up with quite sharp punches to the head. Open mouth now, Williams, Williamson. These two could punch each other to a standstill quite easily. Williamson keeping his man under pressure. Rawlins is breathing very, very hard indeed. He's finding it hard to get his breath now. But he's come back again at him. Williamson is a big man, he really is. 6'5 and 17 and a half stone. Imagine that lot coming at you. come as a very welcome relief to both men particularly I think the Rawlins who's giving away two stone and he flops on that stool with some relief I can understand it so the Giants clash for the last three minutes Rawlins of the Navy on the left Williamson of the police going to be some final three minutes and Rawlins has surpassed everybody's expectations a by getting to the final and B by really giving the favorite a hard time Ned Rawlins. Well, Rawlins sounds very Navy-like, but when I tell you that uh, Ned's first name is actually Nelson, and that his other names are Edwin de Corsi, Nelson Edwin de Corsi, that's his name, N-E-D, Ned. getting tired again Williamson is still the first to lead and put the other man under pressure and Rawlins now finding it hard to collect some counter punches he really isn't offering too much now driven back 
by the massive bulk of Williamson. Rawlins told off for lying on. A good right hand for Williamson and Rawlins is all over the shop. I think he might even have gone down if he hadn't held on to Williamson. The closing moments of the closing final. Rawlins in trouble. Williamson going for the title. The Marine is in real trouble. Head up to Williamson this time. What a courageous effort this is by Rawlins. Only a few seconds left, and I don't think Williamson can put him away. Rawlins holding on for dear life, but I think he's going to make it to the end. And he's coming back at him with the finish. What a courageous effort by Rawlins. Pushing. Now oh, that's rather sad that he's taken the public warning for that. Oh, it's very sad. He got the public warning at the end. What a fight he put up. Nelson Edwin de Corsi of the Royal Marines. The Marines' honor is saved. He goes the distance. But I think we'll find that this massive man from Fitzroy Lodge Guy Williamson will be the super heavyweight champion of Great Britain for 1985. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner and ABA national super heavyweight champion by a majority decision, Williamson in the place. Majority decision. But the policeman, the oldest man in the championships, Guy Williamson from Fitzroy Lodge, is the ABA Super Heavyweight Champion. So the ABA Championships, sponsored once again by George Wimpy, are over for another year. What a good night it's been. Let's just look back at one or two of the highlights. Uh, Pat Clinton of Scotland winning his second successive title at flyweight. And then that extraordinary right hand from Eamon McCauley, which actually broke the nose of Carl Crook, and the unfortunate Carl had to go to hospital for treatment. And what about uh, Rod Douglas? He got his hat-trick, but what a fight that Sunderland minor, Gordon Phillips, put up. And then that amazing middleweight battle between the two strong men and the Welshman, Dennis Cronin, came out on top. And Harold Hilton, well, he won another ABA title. He's been in three finals here, and not one of them has ever gone beyond the first round. Well, in not too many hours from now, just up the road from here a bit at Wembley Stadium, they'll be playing the Rugby League Challenge Cup final, and you'll be able to see that on Grandstand, that starts at half past 12 on BBC One. Just time to get a few hours sleep in. Here from Wembley from all of us, good night. <laughs>